Hello Gungeoneers, I'm that one Argentinian gamer welcome back to 10 more random tips that will help you in your Gungeon adventure. If you missed the previous 10 random tips, first off, how dare you? Just kidding, don't worry, these videos can't be watched in any order. I will refer to older tips, but I'll try my best to keep things clear. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number 1. Coins and hegemony credits, aka the green money you can spend at the breach, will be automatically picked up upon leaving the room, even if some fall into pits. One exception to the rule happens to the coins that you drop from getting hit while having the loot back. You gotta make a run for those. Number two. As I hinted in the previous video, you can roll barrels by pressing A on an Xbox One controller, B on a Switch controller, X on a PlayStation 4 controller, or E on the keyboard. It'll leave a trail of whatever it contains with the exception of explosive barrels. Rolling on top of an explosive barrel will destroy it without blowing it up, but it won't do a thing on the other ones. In fact, they will stop you dead in your tracks. Number three. Most of the semi-automatic weapons can be fired faster than and by holding the fire button. For example, the convict's pistol. Check in the amenomic on which of your weapons are and give it a try. Number four. While finding the Hydra gun, move to either corner on the bottom to avoid his fireball barrage, as the ones coming from your side will curb just enough that they won't touch you. As for the ones from the opposite side, you can either dodge towards them or against the wall, as you only take damage once you hit the ground. Number five. As the pilot, have the ration as the selected active item to avoid death, otherwise it won't restore your health upon dying. Oh come the f on! Wait! I didn't have my rations equipped! Oh god, no! Oh my god. Oh my god. I could have had my rations equipped. I would have lived if I, if I had put my... Oh my... Oh my god. Thank you very much for the footage, Rival Phoenix. Please check out his channel. Number 6. Remember what I said at the beginning of the previous video? Although it is strongly recommended that you play the tutorial at least once. Not only will it teach you the basics, but you will also unlock one of the worst, worst weapons, weapons in the entire, entire game, game. The pea shooter. Well, it turns out that you can turn it into a killing machine by going back into the tutorial chamber, grabbing the blank that drops after cleaning this specific room, using it, and... The rest is up to you to find out. Seriously though, it's kind of a spoiler, so I just want to leave it there. Trust me on this one, it's pretty cool and I want you guys to find out. Number 7. Do not unpause the game and immediately open the Ammonomicon, or else this will happen. Yes, the game is still playing in the background given how fast you switch from the pause menu to the Ammonomicon. Number 8. You can speed up your movement when out of combat by pausing the game and going to options, gameplay, and check in the increased speed out of combat option. Not only is it great when you need to move faster when there's no enemies around, but it will also indicate when the room you're in is clear. The downside is, if you enter an area with a pit right after going through a door, or there's a trap a few steps ahead, you'll end up falling on them, unless your reflexes are on point. Oh my, oh my god, are you serious? You can stop sliding on the table by pressing the dodge button while doing so. Why is this important? Dodge rolling on top of a table will make you slide on it rapidly. If there's a line of tables next to each other, you'll slide through all of them while being able to shoot. As cool as that sounds, there is a problem. It doesn't make you immune to enemy fire, as you're technically not in the air. However, dodge rolling while sliding on a table will break it instantly. Number 10. You can put off the lit fuse of a chest with any weapon or item that leaves puddles of any liquid, except for oil. In some cases, you will find a chest with a lit fuse that will cause it to blow up, destroying the item it contains. That is, unless you 1. Open the chest with a key, or attempt to with the pilot's trusty lockpick, 2. Destroy the chest yourself, or 3. Put off the fuse. Watch out though, as these can still be mimics. Letting the mimic blow up by the fuse won't drop any item. That's it for this video. Thank you very much once again for watching till the end. I hope you find these helpful. If so, let me know in the comments or give this video a like. That will mean the world to me. If you're looking for more, check out the previous video if you haven't yet and subscribe for more. Thank you very much once again and I'll see you in the next one.